Hello everyone! It has been a while since we last uploaded. Uh, I promise we have good excuses such as work and traveling and moving and starting new semesters. So, we are finally back into the rhythm of things. Uh, Cirque was like over a month ago so we're late with this, but we are uploading fight videos now! Hooray! I've decided to try something a little new here and upload everything together in a video for one robot. So Phantom 2 is going to have all of its fights in this video. I'll probably get to Tyrade sometime in the next few weeks. I don't know what AJ is planning to do with Vortex, but we will see what happens. Before we get into it, I want to give a huge thanks to my good friend Ricky, also known as Warwick STL on both YouTube and Twitch. He did a live stream of the Bot Brawl event and provided us with all of this footage. Huge thanks to him for letting us use the footage here, and huge thanks to him for doing an awesome stream. I will link his channels in the description, and also the full stream archive from Bot Brawl, so if you want to see more of the fights beyond just ours, go check that out. So, Phantom 2 came to Cirque sporting a couple upgrades. I finally got the fork wedge that I was bragging about almost a year ago, built and ready to put on the robot, so Phantom 2 finally has the forks again, and uh, some armor on there so that it doesn't just get yeeted apart again like it did last summer. The next improvement is internal. You see, Phantom 2 used to run four tiny little battery packs in parallel, and that was holding it back in terms of how much current it could draw and how much power it had. So I got one big ol' fat battery with a high current output. It's the uh, the Galaxy battery from Fingertech, the 1000 mAh. I'll have to do an internal breakdown of Phantom 2 at some point. And then I revamped uh, the electronics. I put in, you know, I, I did a whole bunch of new wiring and such. The other major improvement I made was I put some pulleys on the drive, and this was partially so I could try to put belts on, although I didn't end up doing it. It was more of an excuse to use the wider finger tech hubs, and that would prevent there from being room for the drive bearings to just fall out of the frame, which had been a problem at the last few events. So there's kind of a run through on the upgrades, and I'll, again, I'll have to do a breakdown video for Phantom 2, like AJ did for Vortex, so I hope you all are looking forward to that. In the meantime, though, let's get to some fights. So, Phantom 2's first fight at Cirque was against kind of a wedge-ish robot. It had forks on it rather than a full wedge. Uh, the robot's called Ricky from a builder named Hannah who had, I think she'd worked on some larger weight class robots, but this was her first time at Cirque Three, with, a, two, with a beetle weight. One, so this starts off, two. I got spun up pretty early and uh, she didn't quite box She's rush for whatever reason. I think the, the floor was giving her some trouble. I got some good hits Ooh, and did hit some there. cool flippy spinny moves. And then I got a few good hits on her forks. They're not oh, quite as good at deflecting uh, horizontal blows as a full wedge, so I was I was pretty confident in going in. Although she did deflect me up a few times. Then we're just trying to get around each other, get better uh, purchase. I was trying to go for the side armor, maybe catch a wheel or something, and launched Ricky into the pit. And I wanted to make sure everything was still working, so I spun up the weapon, you know, for the crowd also, and there was the fight. So there's actually quite a bit, well, not a ton, but a bit of damage on this fight. Um, I was able to tear some pretty impressive gashes into the quarter-inch aluminum side armor on Ricky, and uh, took a little bit of material off the forks, um, not very much, so those held up better than I would have thought they would. Uh, overall, Ricky was a really solid robot, though. So the next fight was against a bot called Angry Box. And I think this was a team of new builders, so I think this was their first event. They came with a wedge. It was a big titanium-hinged wedge, and I don't historically have a very good record against titanium wedges. So I was kind of concerned about this match, actually, even though they were new, just because wedges tend to get me flying through the air. So I knew I had to be careful with this fight and try to clip the sides of the wedge, maybe get the wheels and see what I could make happen. 
So at the start of this fight, due to the floor damage, I actually backed out into the middle of the arena to get spun up. And then he got me corralled into the corner really quickly and kind of pirouetting around, so I was concerned. Uh, Phantom 2, it has a more powerful motor and battery now, so it can take a little bit more of that gyroscopic stuff before flipping itself and, and being completely lost, but I was still kind of scared. So I got a couple good hits on him, and I think he started having drive trouble. I, my drive actually started being wonky too at this point, but I didn't think that much of it. And so I was continuing to get a few more good hits on him, getting throwing myself around. That wedge was starting to look a little precarious. So I was hoping to be able to take advantage of that. And then some hardware started coming off the top of my weapon assembly. Because I had forgotten to tighten down all the way the nuts that were holding it on with the shoulder bolt weapon axle. So the nuts had loosened themselves from the vibration and all of the pirouetting. And I decided that wedge just looks precarious, so I'll spin up again and then took it right off, so that was kind of satisfying. But that was the end of my risk taking. I didn't want to have the weapon fly off and have that count against me or something, so I was just going to try to see if I could corral him into the pit. And this is where the drive issues start to become a little more apparent. I thought maybe I was caught on some debris. And it was driving semi-normal here toward the end of the fight. So then I was just slowly edging him into the pit. I want to be real careful not to get myself in. And in he goes. So this next match was against a bot called Chunky Monkey, which is actually the bot that knocked me out of Cirque last year. And it's a D2 kit, which I really don't have a good record against. I was actually kind of excited for this match. I wanted to take in the improvements that I had made to Phantom and see how they worked against a historically very difficult opponent for me. One thing going into this match though, so you may have noticed the drive was looking kind of wonky in that previous match. I had figured since it was kind of working okay at the end that, that you know, it must have just been some debris or something. And I had a lot of time, so no excuses, but I didn't actually check it. And then I got to the arena, and I discovered two of my drive gearboxes on the same side were broken. So I couldn't really drive all that well. I didn't feel like I could switch the motors out in time, so two, I just went with it. One. And, well, Fantasy this match was Fantasy. pretty quick. I got spun up, and then... Run across the arena. Oh, a big hit. Phantom goes flying. <sighs> That might be the well, it did go a little there. longer with the more powerful motor. That's Kept it spinning a little longer than it usually does when do flipped over. Wasn't quite enough to get it back over this time. So, not looking good, so I might look into a more aggressive 10, speed controller, nine, see if I can get the robot eight, to self-right using seven, the weapon. Six, five, but yeah, four, there's that match. Three, two, one, and that is it. Your winner is Chunky Monkey. So this next fight was against a bot called Vector. Bect Vector is built by Jeffrey Olajar, the owner of EndBots. And uh, he's a good friend we fought before um, very memorably last year. Vector is very well refined as a design. So I was, I was concerned. This thing had been dishing out nasty hits all day. I had a lot of work to do before this match because we had to switch out the two broken gearboxes and get the drive up and running again. I also had to switch from the forks to the full wedge. We have a, a big anti-horizontal spinner wedge that is shock mounted. I use I use rubber spacers. I'll, I'll cover that in the build video that I do eventually. But it's a much more robust defensive armor design against horizontal spinners than the, the fork wedge is. But got ready, got in the box. This was loser bracket, do or die. But Three, we knew it was going to be a slugfest. So the match starts with both of us kind of cautiously right, spinning up. up I'm speed. keeping the wedge toward him. He's keeping his and weapon toward me. I was just barely at a height where I could hit his frame, but he was just barely at a reach where he could hit my wedge first. So we were trading blows here right in the very beginning, just kind of softening each other up, testing each other out seeing what would happen. It was a very tense fight. On both, yeah. Because both of these robots have really nasty weapons. 
Another big hit there. You can see a little foam there. He actually hit one of my back wheels and uh, killed another gearbox. So drive wasn't perfect from this point out, but it was still functioning on both sides. Because I had three motors still. Like... And there's the hit. Oh, he got was... right under the side of my down. wedge and sent me flying. And I actually killed my own motor pulley again. Here's my favorite hit. He hits my weapon, spins it, and then I hit him back with his own energy. I was so happy about this hit. Let's just replay it. Oh, it's got to be the coolest hit I've ever had. We keep fighting. At this point, since I killed my own weapon pulley, I am a wedge. So I am pushing him into the walls, trying to control him as much as I can. <laughs> And the front wedge is doing a pretty good job well, protecting the seconds, frame, although he did kill away. my belt guard in the front. That was kind of unfortunate. So he's just kind of hitting into my weapon assembly at this point, which is already dead. Some really nasty hits being traded. He ended up hitting my top armor and bringing it up off the robot, which is not good because that leaves my internals exposed. So he's at just the right height to hit in there, Ooh, and it's hanging there. on by one screw, and the battery is just Ten. barely not exposed. I am just and trying to get him to the wall five, as much as I can. Four, I go try to go for a three, pit, hoping he might two, hit himself in on the one. wall, but That's time it. runs out, he was spinning over. the wrong direction. So it goes, it goes to the to judges, and Vector wins. Now they said this was the closest decision at the event, but I agree with the verdict they came to. I think. It was a it was a pretty even match. We both did some damage. I think I I think I had control, but he did so much damage to me there at the end, taking the top plate off. I was actually kind of surprised they didn't call me on the exposed battery, and call that a knockout. But huge props to Jeffrey and and bots. And I think the vector is actually going to become a kit before long, so I will link the Endbots website in the description. Now, we also had an interview after the fight. It was a lot of fun to go up there in the excitement of it all. It was awesome. So here is that. We had our first interview for the day. We've got the two builders of, of Vector and Phantom 2. We'll start off with the winner, Jeffrey, here. What would you think of that match? It was everything that I hoped for. Everything worked on both bots, and it was just a pure slugfest. And I noticed uh, you started inverted, right? I did start inverted, and the reason that I did is that my pulley sits really high, and I was worried we sat him down right before the match, and his blade lines up with the top of my bot, which right here. the he took chunks out of it. I was worried he was going to get the pulley in the belt, so I ran inverted, and then he flipped me over. So, you know. so that's just how All it right, is. And so, uh, Nick, what do you think of the... This uh, the fight that happened there. It looks like uh, closest to the exposed battery that you can get, pretty much. Uh, fighting Jeffrey is always stressful. Um, but yeah, this, this battery was just barely not coming out. Um, so what happened was he took off my belt guard, and then you'd think he would hit my belt here, right, where he took off the belt guard, but no, he came around the back and hit off on the motor pulley. So there went my weapon, and the, the motor's actually fine, I think, although the uh, Three of the screws are out. <laughs> um, oh, actually, we got our next match coming up in just one sec. So yeah, so you were saying the uh, the back pulley got taken down. Yep, the one right on the motor. And so then my belt was gone. Then I was a wedge, and I I, I was doing an okay job controlling it, but the, the damage was just too much at that point. All right, well, great match to you guys, and we look forward to seeing, it, seeing the bots again soon. And so that was it. Phantom 2 was out. Uh, we tied for fifth place, which is not the greatest finish, but it, hey, I'll take it. Two and two is an even record, as long as we're not coming away with a losing record. And what a way to go out against Vector. I think that has to be my favorite match that I've ever lost. And it's pretty far up there in terms of the best matches I've had. That was a pretty awesome slugfest. Jeffrey builds a good robot. That's it for Bot Brawl. We're not sure when we're going to compete again, but we will hopefully start getting into some more uploads in the not too distant future. As always, thank you for watching, and happy roboting.
Jesus. 